Swimming with Dolphins, written by Angie Belcher. Photographs by Andy and Angie Belcher. One, dreaming of dolphins. My name is Danielle. When Mum told me I was going to swim with dolphins, I couldn't stop smiling. I'd seen dolphins in the water near my home in New Zealand, and I dreamt of swimming with them. Mum took me to the marina, where the dolphin boat was moored. Kathy, the guide, told me to get a mask, snorkel, and some fins. She told me to put on a wetsuit. Then Mum and I walked down the jetty to the boat. Kathy showed me a list of things I needed to know. Mask helps you to see underwater. Snorkel helps you to breathe underwater. Wetsuit keeps you warm and helps you to float. Fins make you swim faster. Dolphin safety list. One. Stay with the guide. Two. Do not try to touch the dolphins. Three. Put your hand up when you want to get out of the water. Kathy showed me a poster of the types of dolphins we might see. Then, I climbed to the top deck to meet the boat's skipper. He showed me how the boat would safely navigate out of the harbour and into the ocean. We gathered together at the bow of the boat. Listen, Kathy said. When we find the dolphins, we'll watch them carefully before getting into the water. Dolphins are wild animals. They swim free. We don't want to do anything which will upset or harm them. Two, looking for dolphins. As the boat moved through the water, we all looked out for dolphins. Oh, there they are! Kathy shouted. Seabirds were circling in the sky. Something was splashing in the water. Dolphins! I called. They're dolphins! As if they had heard me, the dolphins turned and swam towards our boat. They surfed down the bow waves and dived alongside us. I could feel a spray of water as they blew air out through their blowholes. The dolphins seemed so close. I called out to one. It rolled on its side and looked up at me with its big eyes. The skipper turned off the boat's engine. Climb onto the platform, Kathy called. When I say go, get into the water, swim to the bar and hold on. I was starting to feel a bit scared. I wasn't scared of the dolphins, but I was scared of swimming in the deep water. Ready? Kathy asked. Ready, I replied. Go! Three, into the deep blue sea. I swam to the bar and held on tight. I looked down. All I could see was water. Deep, deep water. Suddenly, I saw a shape. It came closer and closer. 
A dolphin sped towards me, then turned and swam away. Another one followed, then another. They were diving and rolling from side to side. They were squeaking, clicking, and calling. I tried to squeak back through my snorkel. These dolphins want to play, Kathy said. Do you want to swim with them? I nodded my head and let go of the bar. I was swimming free, just like the dolphins. The dolphins swam around me, leaping and playing. I dived deep. But the dolphins dived deeper. I held my breath for as long as I could, but the dolphins held their breath for longer. I swam as fast as I could, but it was not fast enough. They turned and swam past me one more time. Then they disappeared into the deep blue sea. I raised my hand and returned to the boat. Mum gave me a big hug. My dream had come true. I had swum with the dolphins. Four. Key facts. Where do they live? All over the world in oceans and seas. Some even live in rivers. What do they eat? They are carnivores. They hunt in groups to catch fish, squid, shrimps, and octopus. How fast can they swim? Up to forty kilometers per hour. How do they communicate? Dolphins make whistling and clicking sounds, then wait to see if the sound bounces back off an object. Sometimes they slap their tails or touch each other. How long do they live? A male dolphin can live for twenty-five to thirty years. A female can live for fifty years. How can we help to protect dolphins? Look after our seas and oceans. Don't put rubbish in the sea. Stop overfishing. Common dolphins, bottlenose dolphins, and orca are found throughout the world. Hector's dolphins are found only. In New Zealand.